think that Renée Zellweger was at her most attractive when she was in Jerry Maguire. Um, she had a chubby face, but a really maybe size 10 normal body. I think she looked absolutely fantastic. Renée's ever fluctuating weight may have caused devastating damage to her health in the last five years. She made the dramatic transformation from a size 6 to a size 14, not once, but twice. When Dr. Kiriazis calculated Rene Zellweger's life expectancy, he made a shocking discovery. The Hollywood star is a staggering 20% below the acceptable weight. I was amazed to see that Rene Zellweger has only 19 years to live based on average calculations, and she is likely to live to the age of 55. So, which one of our stick-thin superstars has beaten the opposition to claim the dubious honour of being the most extreme skinny celebrity? She does look very, very skinny, and you look at her and you think, what are you surviving on to look that slim and that skinny? Worth millions, she's the world's most famous footballer's wife, and one of the most photographed women on the planet. I just don't understand what happened to that gorgeous woman with the amazing legs from the Spice Girl videos. But nowadays, Posh grabs more skinny column inches than any other stick-thin celebrity. People are obsessed by pictures of Posh looking too thin. Here's a woman with everything, yet obviously something is up and she does not look healthy. Victoria is said to be deeply upset. In an interview with a rival newspaper, she admits that she's lost weight since the birth of her son, Brooklyn, but she denies dieting. Posh's shrinking body first became a national obsession back in 1999, when this shocking image sparked tabloid speculation that she could be anorexic. There were headlines all over the tabloid saying skeletal spice because there was hardly any flesh on her bones. She looked incredibly skinny. I remember the kind of almost collective sharp intake of breath from the media when she appeared at London Fashion Week in those tiny little shorts. Tabloid rumours of an eating disorder continued a year later when a super streamlined posh stalked the catwalk. There's a furore, people said, that she's clearly suffering from some sort of eating disorder and she's got too thin, she was stick-like. But Posh would again deny rumours that she was anorexic. In a press interview, she said, It did worry me. I did go to the doctors because I started to get paranoid. I wanted to be totally checked out because I was eating perfectly fine, as I've always done. In that case, Someone is, has either taken dieting to a very, very dangerous point, and they're not anorexic, but they've completely lost their perspective of how they should look. But the former Spice Girl changed her tune a year later. In her book, she admitted to a calorie-counting obsession that she said was sparked by Jerry Halliwell, who'd warned her that TV cameras pile on the pounds. Posh even confessed to munching frozen peas to keep her weight down. It really is a vicious cycle. The more that you uh, try and stay a low weight, the more preoccupied with your food you become, so the more anxious you are about it, and the more it might actually then spiral off into to other problems. By 2005, Posh's pop career had faded, and Mrs. Beckham was focused on raising a family. But while expecting her third baby, it seemed weight loss was still on her mind. I'm five and a half months pregnant, and I can't hold it in for much longer. <laughs> I really can't. I'm like, what makes me look streamlined? Just weeks after having baby cruise in 2005, Posh reappeared in public looking surprisingly skinny for a new mum. I really don't know how she did it. It was absolutely in incredible. In some ways, you can look at her when she came out and think, you've had a baby, and you've come out, and you look amazing. But then you can take it too far, and you've got to know when to stop. I just would want to sit her down and say, Vicky, you look nicer with a little bit of meat on your bones. The Queen of Beckingham Palace has now become a catwalk regular, and she recently shrunk to a dinky size four to model a frock for designer Roberto Cavalli. I don't think it's particularly the best arena for her to go into if she's had alleged eating disorders in the past. But, you know, she should probably just keep wasting away. In my opinion, if she doesn't uh, put weight on, then uh, her ageing process 
is going to accelerate. Particularly in the face, it's going to become more lined and wrinkled. According to our aging expert, Dr. Kiriazis, at age 31, at 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighing just over 7.5 stone, Posh is 21% below her recommended body weight. Her body is underweight severely, and that reflects on the numbers and the statistics. Victoria Beckham was a healthy nine stone, but over the past ten years, it seems she's been shrinking before our very eyes. What might the future hold if Posh remains super thin? In my opinion, based on my calculations, she is likely to reach the age of 54. And that means that she only has 22 years left to live. For all our extremely skinny celebrities, the health impact of being underweight could be devastating. However, if they're prepared to heed the growing concerns of health experts, returning to a healthy weight could rapidly reverse the aging process. It's something important that we need to address. It might not be something we need to address next year. Let's hope that the celebrity world decides to put on a few pounds. Real women, they all need to come together and recognize that the only way to take back control, to stop believing in this beauty myth, is to recognize that your value lies in more than what you look like. And it's got to stop. We've got to come back to the sisterhood and just say, celebrate the curves.